Hello, good day everyone. How are you guys doing today? Okay, um, last video we did a process on how we can link our NIN and the process of upgrade. Okay, so but in this video, uh, we're teaching us how to get our KCT1 and KCT2 for proper upgrade because I noticed that um, some people are getting their energy and they're not getting their KCT1 and KCT2. So most people have been um, cut off from their power supply because they could not get their KCT1 and KCT2. So that is what I'll be showing us on this video. Because I want to take this opportunity to beg you to subscribe to this channel and make sure you put on the notification bell as our educational videos are dropping three times a week. Be one of the first persons to get this video as a drop. Okay, like I said, let's move into this lecture without further ado. Okay, now we're back and let's see how we can get our KCT1 and KCT2. Please don't skip any process in this video so that you will not miss it out. Okay, the first thing you have to do is to what? Go and get your KCT1 and KCT2 by visiting this website. So when you visit this website, okay, as I will display the link on the description below okay go and get to this website www.ikejaelectric.com slash kct check okay you can check out the link below this video so once you go to that particular website okay you put in your meter number okay i'll be putting in my meter number right away i'm putting in my meter number then um am i gonna blow some this because of a privacy issue Okay, I've put in my uh, meter number and I can click on what submit. When I click on submit, you see my KCT1 and KCT2 will display. As my KCT1 and KCT2 display, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to what? Get my user interface. Now, at this point, if your light has already gone off, you have to put on a battery inside your customer interface unit. Okay, put on a battery, but if your light is still on, all you just need to do is to punch in your meter number first on the KCT. That's the step. Okay. Then step two, you put in your key. Make sure there is a connection between your customer user units and your um, prepaid meter. There must be a proper communication. So the first thing you need to do is to establish that communication is what? Is the word punch in what? Your meter number. Once you punch in your meter number, you click on press enter. It will tell you successful if you say fail that means there's no connection between your meter and your, your customer interface unit so once you say successful if, uh, the next thing you need to do is what to put in your kct1 okay your 20 digit kct1 once you put it and press enter the next step you're going to do is what put in your kct2 once you do that and you press enter the next thing you got to do again is to ensure that there is a connection between your prepaid and your customer interface unit so you put in your meter number again and make sure it shows successful once it shows successful all you need to do is to what put in your energy code once you put in your energy code light will be restored so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like this video share subscribe if you are looking out for how to link your nin on the first video i do you can check it out in the description below as it displays on your screen Please don't forget to like, share our video as it will be dropping three times in a week. You'll be one of the first persons to get this video. Thank you. Thank you. And see you next time.